What's up guys, Visual here, but you can call me James, and welcome back to another tutorial on my channel. During this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can actually add a displacement map effect onto any one of your designs. So this is really, really simple, and I'm going to show you how to do it now. So the first step in order to do this effect is to go in the description below and download my displacement map pack. It's really, really simple on how to download it. You just press the big green download button on Mediafire, and then it should download. Once that's done, you can then extract it onto your desktop. Once you've done all of them steps, you can now start with the actual effect. And all you have to do to do this is have one single layer. Uh, you can do it with things such as text and stuff like that, but I prefer it doing it with just one single layer. It's just much quicker, so if you don't know how to merge layers, I will show you how to do that quickly now. So all you have to do is press shift on the top layer, shift on the bottom layer, and then right click and go to merge layers. That should merge it as just one layer. Now once you've done that, you can then press Control J on your keyboard while you have the layer high highlighted and this should duplicate the layer. So once you have done that, it's now really, really simple. All you have to do is go to filter, distort, and then displace. And this will open up a separate window where you can edit some settings. All you have to do is change the horizontal scale to three and the vertical scale to five. Once you've done that, press okay. And this will open up um, a separate window where it will show all of your saved files. And all you have to do now is find where you have saved that recent displacement map file, obviously the pack that you just downloaded. And um, once you have found it, just open it up and then just select any one of these displacement maps is really really simple and you just have to mess around with it to find the one that actually suits you the one that makes the design look good so here I just chose number nine and um, this was the result so if you want to erase some parts of this all you have to do is go to the erase tool and then just select the parts that you would like to get rid of so it's as simple as that guys hope you have enjoyed the video if you have any problems please put them in the comments down below this has been visual or James and I'm out peace